Yes? You're finished. Debbie, you're going to write the answer to which one? Which of these? Top one? Well, let me lift you a little so that you can do it. Yikes. Is it hard? Is it right? Is it? Who can write the answer to the next one? Gel? Is it too high for you? No. Is that one right? Yes, yes, yes. Who can write the answer to the next one? Philip? Is this right? Yes. yes. Thank you, Philip. Now, who can write the answer to the last one? Will you come and write it, and then we, we, you will explain how you got it? Will you help her, then? Let's do it together. If you find it hard, do you know it, Anne-Marie? The last one? Yeah. What is the answer? Zero. You write it, we shall see whether you're right. You write it. Is she right, Angela? Is it right? You go to your seat. Now put down your answers in your books. The sticks can be used to illuminate many new mathematical ideas as they arise, all through school. Take a third coach, a green one. How many trains can you make? Dr. Gatenio also spent an hour or two with the grade five class at St. George's. This was their first venture into higher mathematics. How many? How do you know? Because there are three colors, and the white you can put in, in front of the other two, two times. And so you could put the green in front two times, and the red in front two times, and put the other ones behind it. How many trains will there be then with three coaches? Six. 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 Well, take a fourth coach and find how many trains you can make. Permutations and combinations are involved mathematical concepts, which these children wouldn't ordinarily approach until well into high school. I tell you that you don't have enough pieces of wood to do it. You must do it in your head. So you better solve it in your head, working on one of the trains. Jane, do you know the answer already? Yes. How many? 24. Well, I'm going to put all this on the board for you to, to work on. The number of coaches will be here, and the number of trains will be there. One coach, how many trains? One. One. Two coaches? Yes. Two. Three coaches? Yes. Four coaches? And if I gave you five coaches, will you please find out how many trains you can, you can get? Cassie? 120. And the sixth? Do you agree with Cassie? Yes. 
Do you? Yes. Take the seventh coat. One, two, times, three, times, four, up to where? Up to where? Ten. Up to? Ten. Now, this is, look, this is a way of writing the story. We say, the number of trains, instead of saying trains, we're going to use the word permutation. Say it. Permutation. How many permutations can we have with two different objects? Two. With three different objects? Six. Six. With ten different objects? Three million six hundred twenty-eight thousand eight hundred. Well, there is another way of writing all this, which is much shorter, because it's very useful, all this. We say, this is three with a, an exclamation mark, which we read factorial. What is it? Factorial. This is three factorial. What will the next one be? Four factorial. And this one? And this one? It used to be thought that some children were born good at maths, while for others it must be a painful drudgery to be got through somehow. Not only in the grade one class at St. George's, but in thousands of classrooms around the world, new methods, differing widely in character, reveal that many children do have a gift for mathematics. We're going to have a game of this old man. He played one. Would you all please stand? We are beginning to understand that mathematics need not be the dreary routine so many adults remember. It can find its place in the lively, stimulating world of the growing child.